game day, and it's here on this frozen tundra that these two titans meet for the first time in a fight of fright. Two storied franchises, one ultimate prize, Earth. Are you ready for some aliens versus Predator now? Well, dude, it's that time of year again. Sure is. The big game. The big game. I'm so excited for the big game. Now, there's a problem. Uh, we don't have cable in here, and I'll have one of those HD leaf antennas. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to listen to the game on the radio, and I oh. got a radio here. Oh, wow. And uh, I'm going to test it out. And I thought, what better way to test out my radio than to tune into my favorite radio station, Froggy 101. Oh. So let's let's see if it works. Mm -hmm. Got it up here. Yeah. And, uh, oh, you know what? I think my favorite show, Crockett, on Froggy 101, is currently uh, broadcasting right now. So let's let's turn on the radio and hear hear see you see if it works. Okay. I don't know if Ghostbusters Two is my favorite movie anymore. I know I've been talking about it for for years. It's my favorite movie since I've been a kid. It was the first movie I saw in the movie theaters. There's a YouTube channel I watch called Hack the Movies. Well, they had a review that said Ghostbusters Two is a terrible movie. So I watched it, fully expecting they were going to be wrong. And they point out so many things that was wrong with the movie and things I didn't know about. And I'm a huge Ghostbuster fan, but I'm not a fan of Bill Murray. I don't really like Bill Murray. I think he's kind of a jerk. Well, this review made it even more apparent how much of a jerk he is. And they pointed things out that made me go, oh, yeah, I didn't notice that. And, and then they were showing things that were cut from the movie. And now, and this has been a crisis since I watched this on like a week ago. I've just been sitting here thinking, do I even like this movie anymore? And if I don't, that means I need a new favorite movie. What's going to be my new favorite movie? Probably going to end up being Ghostbusters, <laughs> Ghostbusters 1. Well, I can't believe he's a fan of our show, Newt. I can't believe we somehow were able to get a uh, broadcast from Scranton, Pennsylvania. Yeah, that's a mystery anyway. <laughs> uh, well, sorry, Crockett, for ruining your favorite movie. <laughs> Um, <laughs> a lot of people I, were unhappy about that. Yeah, I hope to God you're not a fan of Alien vs. Predator, because uh, the hits is, are going to keep coming. Is anyone a fan of this movie? Of this movie? Yeah. There actually are fans of this movie. Uh, the concept is really good. Yeah. So let's let's talk about Alien vs. Predator, or as it was known, Aliens vs. Predator. Well, I mean, you want to know how I got this DVD? How'd you get that DVD? Okay, so when HD TVs were getting big, mm -hmm. when they first like came out, yeah. My parents got a big one. And this is like big. It was like a 50, 60 inch TV, but it's yeah. like the early one. So it had a giant tube on yeah, the back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and we got three free DVDs with it. <laughs> and the new releases we could select. Okay. So I was like, Napoleon Dynamite. Yes, I didn't get seen in theaters. Heard mm -hmm. it was really good. Yeah. Got that. Forget what the second one was. And at this point, I had already been burned by Alien vs. Predator. So like, I'm looking around. I'm like, I guess I'm getting Alien versus Predator. And then as I was leaving, I saw a copy of Collateral with Tom Cruise. And I was like, oh, son of a bitch, I would have grabbed Collateral. That's a good fucking movie. It is. Yeah. It is. Made around the same time. Actually, yeah. skip ahead, I listened to the director's commentary track. Well, director with Sana Lathan and Lance Henriksen. Mm -hmm. And they said in the next room, Michael Mann was recording his commentary oh, really? track for Collateral. So it's funny because I went back to rewatch this movie and I haven't seen it since it was in the theater in 2004. Mm. And then I realized I didn't really see it was in, when it was in the theater. Yeah. I ran the theater uh, that Justin and I worked at, and it was the summer that Justin and all of his people left. So wow. I had all these new people, and we say, hey, we're going to do movies on Thursday night, because they came out on Friday. Yeah. And uh, a lot of people like were still getting used to it, and they showed up like drunk and high as fuck. So I had to keep leaving the theater to make sure that people weren't puking, because oh, the, they're all like... 18, 19 years old and stuff like that. You really ran a crack team over there, didn't you? For a while, yeah. They were on crack, possibly. <laughs> so I, I, I know I'd seen, like, snippets of this movie, and I was just like, oh, and then rewatching, I was like, oh, fuck, I didn't realize that any of this was in this movie. Yes. Well, but yeah. unlike its sequel, <laughs> you could at least tell what was going on in yes. the movie, so. Yes. Um, <laughs> so I'm younger than you. Mm -hmm. uh, I love shows. The, I loved Alien and Predator. Yeah. So I was like 14 when this came 2004. Yeah, I would yeah. have been, yeah, I would have been 14. Um, I was 
real excited yeah. for an Alien versus Predator movie mm-hmm. or Aliens versus yeah, Predator as yep. it was known in video games mm-hmm. and comics. I loved the the video games, the two PC games. Alien vs Predator two on PC is phenomenal. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. so yep. good. Um, a lot of people played like the side scrolling beat 'em up mm-hmm. one, which was also fun. Yeah. I think there was one on like the Atari Jaguar, <laughs> but um, it originated. Oh, I remember that one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it originated as a comic. Mm-hmm. Aliens vs. Predator. I got the omnibus here. Dark Horse. Yes. Yep. And uh, the first comic is really, really, really good. Mm-hmm. Um, and I also have some other. I have some other comics here. Wanna, wanna... Is Batman on there? Oh, yeah. Oh, I, got, yeah. I got Batman vs. Predator. I have that one. Predator. Batman vs. Predator. I don't edit. have Batman vs. Aliens. I have but, that one. But I have. Superman and Batman versus Alien and Predator. That's a good. That's good. And also, the title of this is misleading because he doesn't fight both of them at mm. the same time. But I have Judge Dredd and Predator and yeah, Aliens. Yep, I remember. Good that old one. Dark Horse. How come they never did Predator versus Alien versus Terminator versus they did. Robocop? Oh, uh, Robocop. I don't know. They did Terminator. Oh, really? And I think it's like after Re- Alien Resurrection and oh. stuff. Yeah. Um, so yeah, big fan of this series. Mm-hmm. Love the movies. Yeah. Was so hype on this movie coming out, even though. I saw all the warning signs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I didn't want to believe it. I was like, la, 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 it's going to be good. It's like, it's PG-13. I'm like, that'll that'll be fine because we just want to see Alien well, Blood. It's blah, funny blah. because it came out, the way that I justified it in my head back then was, well, The Ring just came out and The Ring was PG-13 and that was really good. And I was, you know, yeah. I was trying. I was like, the Alien franchise means a lot to me because yeah. my name is Newt. My name's Newt. So I loved Alien, loved Predator. Predator is like one of the earliest movies I can remember watching like yeah. on repeat, which is a weird thing mm-hmm. for a three or four year old to be watching on repeat. Yeah. But what are you going to do? I went through such trauma with this movie. <laughs> like I, I went through the stages of grief mm-hmm. with this movie. I was very, very depressed when it came out. Yeah. Uh, I almost died the day before this movie came out. Yes, I was in uh, I was in Florida on vacation. We Say got no stuck. In, <laughs> yeah, we got we got stuck in a hurricane. Oh. And dude, I almost died in during the hurricane. Not as a result of the hurricane. We were eating, and my grandmother said something stupid. You know how like when you drink chocolate milk and you laugh comes out of your nose? Yeah. All right, it's not as fun when it's a piece of chicken. Mm-hmm. Don't laugh when you're eating chicken and it tries to come out of your nose because you start to suffocate. I'll just always <laughs> eat chicken around you, and then there's no yeah. chance I'll ever laugh. So I couldn't <laughs> I couldn't breathe for like a minute. Oh my god. And everyone's laughing. I forget what she even said. That was so stupid it made us all laugh. And then like I ended up like throwing it up out of there and so if I had died, the paper would have been like, so-and-so people died from hurricane and one asshole choked yeah. on a piece of chicken. <laughs> uh, so we were stuck in Florida because mm-hmm. uh, the airport was shut down. And we're like, well, let's go see Alien vs. Predator, the From movie the I've been... of Resident Evil. Which I liked. And Mortal Kombat I liked. and Soldier. Soldier and, and Event, Event Horizon. Horizon. Yeah. Look, they're not all great movies. <laughs> I know that now, but 14-year-old <laughs> Tony was into it. Uh, yeah, and then I saw the movie, and mm-hmm. I was like, I knew, it was one of those things, like, I knew deep down, like, it was bad. Yeah. But, like, I didn't want to admit it mm-hmm. right away. I'm like, it was okay, and uh, It's that like part- people with the prequels, though, like, originally, before the internet said they were good. What do you mean? The prequels are, are oh, good. We love the, pre- I know, the prequels. Old, are good. I forgot. Yes. yes yeah. The prequels are great. But they're people who are, like, mentally doing gymnastics in order to to, to justify justify the movie. I tell I'll tell yeah. the story when we get to that episode. But. Yeah, but luckily, <laughs> luckily it turns out for for those people, they turned out to be right. And the yes. prequels are great because yes. the internet says it's great and we agree with them. And it was actually Disney that ruined it. Mm-hmm. So they turned out to be right. Whereas Alien vs. Predator still sucks. Yeah. Well, now Disney owns Alien vs. Predator, though. Is he, Are they going to tell us it's good and we have to follow along? Everyone kept asking me how I felt about the news of Disney making Alien stuff. Yeah. And my response was, the only thing that would make me happy is if Disney came out and said, we have no plans to continue the Alien franchise. Exactly. And I would be like, yes! Uh, no, we're going to let Ridley Scott do more Prometheus. Yeah. Oh, God. So, <laughs> yeah, this movie, I've, I've seen this movie a lot, actually. Because okay. I made fun of it and stuff. Yeah. And it's fun to, like, when you're binging the Alien movies mm-hmm. with people, I'm like, all right, well... Let's see this shit show. It's fun to make fun of. You were here Saturday working on the set, uh, and I was in my office, and I watched this. Oh, yeah, this. I added, I added yeah, a couple a more bunch layers. Of stuff. I don't know if it reads on camera yeah. or there's stuff over there. Well, we put up all these delicious treats that you should buy. We put up all these buy. delicious snacks. They can't see it. Yeah. Uh, I was in my office watching it, and I was getting angry. Yeah. And then I was like, well, I better watch it again Sunday night just so I have a, like, it's fresh going into it. Yeah. And then watching it the second time, it opened more questions up and it made me even madder. 
<laughs> so yeah, I guess we'll start with this movie. Yeah, let's, uh, let's now that we've shown how disappointed we were, mm -hmm. let's let's relay all the things that were disappointing <laughs> in this. And I think I have my notes. You have your here. notes there. Yep. Notes. We have it here. Ridley Scott hated this film. Yes. Which. He doesn't have any fucking room to talk no, anymore. No. Uh, but James Cameron had said he enjoyed it. James Cameron also said that he liked Terminator. What was the last Terminator? He said he liked the last three Terminator. Really? Four. I think he said he liked Terminator 3. Because he's like, I'll say I like it and they'll just back up a Brinks truck to my house. Yeah. So I can make more Avatar sequels. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, James Cameron, he's a liar. Mm -hmm. he, he he will say a movie's good yeah. just to look good, and mm -hmm. then he, he and then years later he'll be like, "Oh, that movie sucked." Yeah. It's like, well, you said it was good. Um, James yeah. Cameron has no conviction. Yeah, they brought back Studio ADI, mm -hmm. who had done the previous two Alien movies, yeah. so they knew what they were doing. Alien wise, the Queen Alien, I think we have it here. It's like one of the most sophisticated animatronics. Yeah, it was. It had more <clears> moving parts than the T Rex in Jurassic yeah. Park. And uh, they may also made a miniature of her, which looks great. Yes, yeah, uh, I, saw, I saw behind the scenes of yeah. it. Yeah, so this is the first Alien and Predator film to get not have an R rating. Mm -hmm. And the last one, I'm glad they actually yeah. <laughs> realized the mistake. Well, financially, they made a great decision. Mm -hmm. This movie was made for less money than Alien 3 and Alien Resurrection. Really? Yeah, so what happened was they were ready to do another Alien movie with, mm -hmm. I think, Ridley Scott and James Cameron. And they were going to bring Ripley back and maybe it would have ignored some for, I don't know. Yeah. And then Freddy versus Jason came out yes. and made a shit ton of money. Yeah, it did. So then Fox was like, we need to jump on that train, mm -hmm. but we don't want to spend a lot of money on it. So like, uh, it makes sense for Freddy versus Jason. They're both low budget -ish yeah. slasher movies. This is a science fiction movie. Like, if you looked at like the source material of how this concept was explored in other yeah. movies, you should have put way more money into this if you knew how much it was going to make. Instead, they went as cheap as they could. They got. I actually. As much as he sucks, I felt bad for Paul W. Sanderson. Yeah. Like, listen to him in the commentary, like all like the corners he had to cut and stuff. And I'm like, <laughs> man, if only they trusted him a little bit. Uh, they were going to make this movie earlier. Mm -hmm. And Sigourney Weaver said, that's a terrible idea. I'd rather come back for Early Resurrection. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, they wanted Roland Emmerich to direct the film. Which, you know what? Like, early 2000s schlocky Roland Emmerich with a big budget it would have been something mm -hmm. instead they got Paul W. Sanderson <laughs> and he did a who could have maybe on paper made an entertaining movie like Resident Evil sucks but it's entertaining yeah like if they did it maybe with the grit of Event Horizon I could see this being yeah. really awesome yeah. you know uh, you have it here Jerry Goldsmith and Alan Silvestri we're gonna team up yep. and then Jerry Goldsmith uh, was battling cancer, cancer yeah. and Alan Silvestri was like bye <laughs> and it was not screened for critics which is shocking a, which is always a good sign of a good movie. <laughs> I wonder if there's exceptions for movies that weren't screened but turned out to be good. I'm trying to think of that. When I wrote that note down, I was like, I'm sure there's been ones where they're like... There's probably ones where like the studio didn't have faith, but then it ended up being a good movie. I wonder. I would like to see that list. But uh, in case you're wondering, most times if a movie does not screen its movie... If a studio does not screen its movie for critics, it's a bad movie. Yeah. And we have it here. It's uh, the last one to be released on VHS. Sadly, I do not have the VHS, but I have the full screen DVD. So it feels like I'm watching a VHS. And it was the first one to be released on uh, Blu-ray. This makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. How does the movie start, Newt? Uh, the movie starts with a shot. Well, it's all the Morse code shit. Yeah. And you said the Morse code says... Uh, oh, no, 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 oh. no. You're skipping ahead with the Morse code. The Predator text. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. The Morse code comes up in a minute. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes, there's Predator text. Mm -hmm. And then the word, the AVP, like, comes in like yeah. alien. But you're wrong, dude. That's not the real beginning of the movie because I watched the extended oh, edition. I did not see the extended edition. The extended edition. Let me tell you all the scenes in the extended edition. Mm -hmm. So in the extended edition, the movie starts... Guy is running in the snow. It's 1904. Okay. So it's All the right, whaling that makes village. Sense. Yeah. And he's being chased by something. He's being chased by something. And then you see the predator vision. And he's like, oh, and you see the heat vision predator. Yeah. But then the predator vision switches. And you see that there's an alien next to the guy. And the alien jumps at the camera. Very exciting beginning. Probably yeah. should have been in the beginning yeah, yeah, of this yeah. movie. Mm -hmm. uh, they cut that out. You know what else is in the extended edition? That's literally it. It's not <laughs> It's not really an extended. When they said they were releasing an extended edition, everyone mm -hmm. thought, oh, this will be the cut with blood and R, gore. Yeah. 
Nope. It was just that just beginning, that. which should have been in the movie. Yeah, the movie it's is, like Superman returning to Krypton and Superman returns. Yes. Like, maybe that should have been in yeah. there. Yeah, uh, this movie is really short, yeah. and the credits are very long, so you could have put it in there. Yeah, this one starts with a shot that we think is the alien queen, yes. and it's like, oh, okay, and then it becomes a satellite. Which I thought was fine. It's fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. Yeah. That's, a, that's a clever yeah. thing. They, they have the fake out, and then we get to PlayStation 2 graphic, yes. the satellite dishes. That was fucking Which, funny. When I'm watching this on like DVD, they don't look bad, but I finally watched this movie in HD for the first yeah. time, and I was like, oof, that's pretty bad. It looked like like it looked like stock footage you would buy. Like, you know, uh, it was bad. It yeah. was really bad. Um, the first of many PlayStation 2 cut scenes that are in this movie. <laughs> yeah, at this uh, satellite station, which is Wayland, mm -hmm. not Wayland Utani. Yes. Yeah. There's no Y yet, mm -hmm. but it's their logo from Aliens and Going Forward, yes. not the logo from Alien. Whatever. Uh, that's a nitpick. Yeah. I don't give a shit. <laughs> um, what are they looking? Oil? What they're, they're, I, I thought they were looking for oil. Hence why I wore my Edmonton Oilers jersey. Yes. I realized I didn't have any football jerseys, <laughs> except for one that I had in high school, and I'm 40 pounds heavier than I was in high school, so I felt bad about myself. Yeah, they're yeah. looking, they're, they're doing satellite stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure what the whaling company does in this movie. It's like the raccoon uh, in uh, Resident Evil. Yeah. Like, what do you do? Like, But in this one, like, because you see a magazine where, spoiler, Lance Hamrickson's in the movie as Bishop Wayland, yeah. the human who created the company. They say he's like a robotics genius, yeah. but then he wants to go to a pyramid because there might be an energy. I it's thought confusing. if they did the thing like in Prometheus where Wayland is trying to extend his life. Yeah, Prometheus actually barred a little bit of this. Yeah, a lot actually. Um, so in the uh, station, someone's watching Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. Yeah, which was is universal. I yes. thought that was weird. Yes, but I would love if this movie had a Faro La Faro La song. It's true. Just a, in the middle of the pyramid, just a German <laughs> man is singing about There's wine. There's so many vague <laughs> racial and ethnic <laughs> stereotypes in this movie already. Go ahead. Like, <laughs> like at one point, Santa Lathan's like, what is that German gentleman doing? Oh, wait, no, it wasn't Germany and Frankenstein meets the Wolfman because the war was going on. Mm. What is that vague European man yeah. doing over there? And he's singing, oh, he's singing the Festival of the New Wine <laughs> in Antarctica. Um, it makes as much sense as everything else going yeah. on. On there. Uh, so while they're looking at the TV, which is playing Morse code, mm -hmm. and according to the director's commentary, it's saying whoever wins, we lose. Yeah. The side of the TV, there's a little dipping bird. For, yeah. Like from alien. alien. Yeah. As you learn from this movie, Paul W. S. Anderson loves Alien and Aliens mm -hmm. and can't remember a lot of Predator. No. <laughs> there is. Which I was having a conversation the other day. Like, man, I really like Predator Two. Predator Two doesn't get enough love. I mentioned it. In uh, rental reviews, we did that. We did an episode called Movies We Changed Our Mind On. Mm -hmm. and I did Predator yeah. 2. I love Predator yeah. 2. Yep. Predator 2 is great. But again, Predator 1 and Predator 2 introduce an element that makes this movie shouldn't happen. Like, yeah. Yes, which we'll, <laughs> I want to get to in a bit. Um, Newt, before we get to the next part, let's cut to commercial. We got all the hottest new models. Not this model. This model, not this model, this model. They're all here at Sure Car Deal Emporium. So then we're introduced to our hero. Yeah, and, they, and she's climbing up a mountain, like Ethan like Hunt, an ice, ice rock. cliff. Which apparently was dangerous. Like, I, I was listening to the commentary, so, like, when she's on it, yeah. it's a set. Yeah. But they actually got, like, a rock climber to mm -hmm. climb, like, an actual ice wall, but she wasn't used to climbing on ice. Yeah. So they had to, like, teach her, and there was a possibility that the ice she would just could crack die. and yeah. she dies. I'm like, but Man. it's like they have to introduce her, like, Ethan Hunt in uh, it Mission is Impossible a lot 2. Like, Ethan Hunt. And in, I'm just oh, like. Hold on, hold on. Mission Impossible 2. Oh. I have my vinyl of Mission Impossible I used 2. To, I used to, here's the thing about Mission Impossible 2. Oh, God. I used to date a girl yeah. who, when she broke up with me, she started dating this other guy who grew his hair to look like Ethan Hunt in that okay. movie. And he felt the need to tell everyone that he met in that summer that he wanted his hair to look like Ethan Hunt. And uh, I said, you know what? I said to her, I was like, you know what? You made a good choice. Yeah. <laughs> he did. Ethan Hunt's awesome. Yes, exactly. You wish you looked like Ethan Hunt. I do. <laughs> anyway. I look more like uh, Tom Cruise's like 
cousin who he puts in movies. <laughs> yeah, who looks like Tom Cruise if he wasn't left in the oven long <laughs> enough. Like, um, so yeah, so they introduce her and she's climbing up the thing because you got to prove that she's a badass. Yeah, and I hate when they do that in movies, but it it it, it, it creates a a, pl- a problem because she gets a call. Yeah. From what sounds like one of the Resident Evil voice actors from which the is, first game, which is funny because that actor the was in the Resident, Resident Evil, Evil movie. <laughs> uh, really good actor. His name escapes me at the moment, mm-hmm. but a really good actor. Yeah. Uh, he was in Arrow. Oh, he's General Zod on Krypton. Yeah, he's a yep. really good General mm-hmm. Zod. Maybe I didn't see season two. Maybe, oh, okay, maybe, I only saw season one. Maybe he dropped the ball. Yeah, in season I heard two. Brainiac was awesome though. Yeah, I want to yeah. see that. Um, yeah, so he's there and he's like, she's like, I won't be down for seven days. And when she gets to the top, he's like, we don't have that long. And he's there. It's like she didn't hear the helicopter. She didn't land? hear the helicopter. And the guy flying the helicopter should have been like, um, hey, I know you want this dramatic reveal, but yeah. see these conditions. Yeah, fuck off. I don't think I can land on a nice. Like uh, where and how did she get there? Like she's gonna leave with them? Were there Sherpas who got her there? Who were like, uh, we have places to. Well, I guess be. she was just gonna climb down. She's a climber. It's a- anyway, we get a uh, very Jurassic Park looking scene in Mexico. Yes. Yeah, Mexico. Mexico, this whole movie was mostly shot in Prague. Yeah. That ice thing was in Italy, but they okay. shot it in Prague. So none of those actors are Mexican, which means Paul W.S. Anderson whitewashed this movie. Cancel Paul W.S. Anderson. He's like, he sees this and goes, yes, please. Actually, that <laughs> might work. He got in a lot of trouble for Monster Hunter. That's right. He did that Chinese joke and it got kicked out of China, which is the what place you want that movie yeah. to play? He needs, he's like, honey, um, I know I'm the only one casting you, but you're going to have to go ahead and get some jobs. I was, <laughs> I was canceled from Hack the Movies. So they're in Mexico. Yeah. Uh, and they're digging. The guy's like, this is my big job. Oh, I made it into this uh, cavern. We're going to find all these artifacts. And then he finds a Pepsi Cola yeah, thing. Yeah, Pepsi bottle. So weird product placement. Yeah. <laughs> like, wow. I have gotten Pepsi. I know, but it's like, wow, that's how you did your product. I mean, he's wearing it the whole movie. Yeah. But it's like, why not just have him, like, drink a Pepsi on the ship? And because Probably that scene was sense. like Jurassic Park meets the beginning of The Exorcist. Yeah. And you're like, oh, well, this is going to go somewhere. Oh, I'll that didn't this. go it's anywhere. It's got a nice little digital pyramid in the background. Yeah. Mm, pretty yeah. seamless it's for okay. the time. Yeah. Uh, so he's very depressed because I think the idea is someone's already come in and raided it. Yeah. And uh, so he's bummed. But then Resident Evil guy is there. Yeah. And he's like, <laughs> we got a thing for you. Uh, so, yeah. Then we meet uh, Lance Hemrickson. Mm-hmm who's a robotics guy who was interested in an energy source in a pyramid in Antarctica and feels the need to go there himself. Yes, like like the terrorist in Collateral Damage. He's very (laughs) (laughs) hands-on. Plus, they were like, who can we get from the other movies? And even Michael Bean wasn't returning their calls. They're like, Lance Hendrickson it is. Um, Michael Bean got paid the same amount for Aliens just to have his, his picture, picture in yeah, Alien 3. Because they fucked him over. I yeah. would love to talk about Alien 3. Alien 3 is a movie. I've talked about it before mm-hmm. in other videos, but I would love to like sit. The, the opening of Alien 3 was the first time in a movie theater that I ever went like, oh. Like, yeah. That was my psycho moment where yeah. it's like, wait, no, these people were so important. They're gone. Yeah. You know? If you guys are interested, let us know if you want us to talk about Alien 3. If you're not sure... If you want us to talk about Alien 3, you should get reacquainted with the movie. Just type in Alien 3 into, into YouTube. Google and YouTube. YouTube, yeah, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. But look up some videos. Like, just type in Alien 3. Like, 50, nothing else. Just Alien 3. Yeah. See what comes up. Just a bunch of times. Yeah. Or you know? watch the movie. But, you know, just watch. Yeah. Just look up Alien 3 on YouTube and let us know if you want us to talk mm-hmm. about Alien 3. We, I'm sure we can make it trendy. Like, Google trendy. Yeah, I kind of want uh, yeah. Alien 3 to trend a little bit. <laughs> Maybe it'll be cool to talk about again. But, yes, yes. Um, so, they they go to the ship where ba- Wayland is. Piper Maru. Which, is that an X-Files episode? Wasn't that, that's Jillian Anderson's daughter. Yeah, that's yes. what's we. All right, so I was looking it up. I'm like, maybe Piper, maybe she named her daughter after something called yeah. the Piper Maru. Mm-hmm. No, that ship in the X-Files was named after her daughter. Yeah. And so they took the name for themselves, yeah. which is weird. It's maybe like, he's like a big X-Files fan. The show was I, off I'm the sh- air at that you point. You know what? I'm sure that's what it was. Yeah. But maybe they didn't know that it was named after her daughter. So it's like this weird tribute. I don't know. Because when I saw it, it popped up as a Piper Moreau. And again, I'm, I'm in the office by myself. I go, oh, that's an X-Files episode. And I'm the <laughs> only one in the room. <laughs> you know what? That's the first time I've caught that. Really? Yeah. I guess I've never... Because I've rewatched X Files a bunch of times, mm. and I've watched these stupid movie, yeah. <laughs> this stupid movie a bunch. But I guess I never watched them close in relation mm. to each other, so I never put the pieces. And I'm together. just a big Jillian Anderson fan. Yeah, I, uh, I'm a big redhead fan. Um, so they find out about the mission, which is mm-hmm. like we found a pyramid under the ice, and it turns out it has 
our thermal vision scanning can show us extreme detail on the pyramid. It's the first pyramid. Yes, it is the first pyramid. And it's like, is it Aztec, Egyptian? It's like, it's all of them. <laughs> because Antarctica used to be habitable to humans. I don't know if that's... I don't think that's... And that's this is going to bring up another point we're going to have later where I, where I thought about it and I went, Paul W.S. Anderson, let me... Can I speak to your manager, please? <laughs> like... <laughs> Like, I'm sure parts of Antarctica were habitable to some life. I'm sure some of it, like, I you know penguins are down there. Yeah. But, like, the yeah, I don't think humans could ever have lived in Antarctica as long as we... Let me know if I'm she wrong. She says in the movie, she's like, it's the last undiscovered... Nobody owns it. Yeah. She says it in the movie, like, you know, it's... it's. I want to own it. You should. I'm going to own Antarctica, and I'm changing it to Antonartica. <laughs> Oh so God. yeah, she finds out that this uh, mission is like too dangerous. Yeah. And she's like, well, I can't do that. I can't be responsible for you guys. I'm out. And then uh, later on, Resident Evil guy's like, uh, we found another guy. His name is this. And she's like, I know that guy. And she goes into Waylon's office yeah. and she's like, he is inexperienced. You're going to die. And I, I guess I'll do it. <laughs> it's uh, just that easy. Yeah. Well, no, it's not just that easy because that Italian guy, mm -hmm. whose name is Italian guy. And he's the best character in That's, the movie. I, when I was watching it, I was like, oh, there's yeah. an Italian guy. He's talking to Scottish guy who's in, what was he in? Is he in the rundown? No. No. He was in train spotting, I think. He might have been. Yeah, he's been in things. Yeah, he's been in things. So is the guy with the scar. I'm oh, like, yeah, that guy's been in Gladiator. I was, yeah, I was like, what do I know that guy from? You know him because every movie has that scar because he yeah. actually got into a yeah. bar fight in real life. He was the bad guy in the remake of uh, When a Stranger Calls. Oh, really? Yeah. I never saw that one. So they're trying to convince her to stay on board for the mission. And the guy's like, I'll show you pictures of my kids. Yeah, and then he's like, what if I show you pictures of other people's kids? And I was like, why do you have those? I like to think he's a Cuties fan. Mm -hmm. And he should be canceled. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> cancel Scottish guy in yeah. Alien vs. Yeah, Predator. look him up on IMDb and cancel him. So they give him the whole rundown on um, what it is and, and how, what it, how it got there and all that kind of stuff. And it goes into the idea of Chariots of the Gods. Yeah. You know what Chariots of the Gods is? Yeah, it's a where, great. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, where it's like aliens helped move technology forward. I was about to make a joke that it's a great movie, and then I realized that's Chariots, Chariots of, Fire. of Fire. Yeah, anyway, keep going. Fucking jackass. <laughs> Uh, so Chariots of the Gods, but I, uh, that whole concept always bothers me because just because white people didn't do it doesn't yeah. mean aliens did yeah. it. <laughs> Although I guess it, they do it to like white people too because they're like, who built Stonehenge? No one could ever do it. And then people like figured out how it yeah, probably like, was just done. Just like that. Pyramids were done this way. We had slave labor. Yeah, that's like, another <laughs> thing. People don't want to like believe that it might have been slave labor. <laughs> Some of them might have been hired. I'm like, yeah, but I bet a lot of them were. <laughs> they're independent contractors like on the Death Star. <laughs> We uh, cut to Waylon in his office when she yells at him, mm -hmm. and he's doing he's the doing pen. It. Yeah, yeah. With that, fine. It's not a dis you know what? It's not a distracting uh, reference. No, I will say a lot of the references in this movie are very subtle. They're superficial. Yeah, it's not anything like Solo, where no. it's like everything that we ever did happened on that one day that you know about this character. Or like um, the Crystal Skull when they're in Area Fifty One uh, and they have to show you the Ark of the Covenant. There, it can't just be in the background, like. That was subtle enough. You know how you do it like in uh, Indiana Jones um, and the Last Crusade where <laughs> she's like reading the things. She's like, Ark of the Covenant. And he's like, I'm sure. And she's like, I'll show you. He's like, pretty sure. Because he discovered it. Yeah. That's great. That's Yeah, that's good. Th uh, in this movie, I will give it credit. The references, most of them are fine. Yeah. Because they don't take away from them. They're not like, I'm not watching there. If I haven't seen the other movies, I'm mm. not like, what's that? Yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, you just it go is on what it the, is. So then we see the Predator ship. Mm-hmm. This movie and every movie afterwards keeps screwing up the Predator ship. Yeah. We saw the Predator ship in Predator 2, mm -hmm. and it looked awesome. It yeah. had the eerie lighting. It had the fog on mm -hmm. the ground. It had that like biomechanical look. Yeah. And it looked like it was just made of like bones and stuff, which is kind of like the Geek or Alien yeah. ship. But this is like, it looked awesome. And this one just looked like a spaceship. Yeah. And that's the thing. In I might be wrong from... I used to have a comic book store and I used to read a lot of this garbage. Wasn't it that the predators were like lizard people and like a barbarian, like Conan esque people came and they killed those people and then they like reverse engineered their their technology? If that is a thing, I've not read those books. Tell me I'm wrong. I that's what I remember. I did zero research for well, this look, episode. Disney owns it now and their oh. comics are gonna rewrite it. Yeah. And it, you know what know what it's gonna be now? 
the female predators are stunning and brave and they actually came up with all this stuff. Mm-hmm. And, the, and next- the men have to hunt because the women are actually Doing saving the planet. Things. Yeah, yep. yes. Yep. Yep. That's going to be the Disney When they go to the predator. snow place, will Olaf be there? <laughs> yes, yes. So that, that, that look for Disney's predators comic. Disney, hire us! I'll be- <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. I will write the most stunning and brave shit it's Ever. gonna be like, oh, the men are hunting again. That's fine. Yeah. We're creating fo- science, we're creating fuel cell energy. <laughs> and, oh, those boys are hunting. We're making galactic peace with mm-hmm. the, with the, the blah blah blahs. Anyway, the blah blah blahs <laughs> are a strong uh, name. Oh, I can't wait to read some Marvel <laughs> Disney Predator <laughs> comics. It's like the Marvel Star Wars comics, which started off pretty good. Yeah. And then they're like, Darth Vader needs a sassy lady sidekick, and she needs her own comic. And it's like, they oh. did a sassy lady Darth Vader thing. She, he has a sassy lady archaeologist, rogue archaeologist sidekick. Really? Yeah. The only good thing about her is she has the robots Triple uh, Zero, who's the evil C three PO, mm-hmm. who might have been inspired by our friends the Arl Not. Anyway, anyway, back, back on track, back on track. <laughs> so the Predator ship looks like shit. Yeah, it just looks like generic spaceship. And every movie after this, uh, Alien vs Predator two. And uh, the Predator. We don't see the inside of a ship in Predators. The Predator also just generic spaceship. Uh, But one reference I like, uh, the Predator helmets are sitting there and there's like this holograph. Because Paul W. Sanderson loves his holographic maps. He sure fucking does. After Resident Evil, he brought those back. But the holographic maps are being like reflected onto the helmets. Much like Alien when the Nostromo's waking up. And I'm like, that is a cool reference. Wish it was in a better movie, but that is a cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then it shoots a, it shoots a laser out the window, but doesn't break the window. Mm-hmm. And I'm not sure what that room is. No, me either. <laughs> I'm really not sure what that room is. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, it shoots a laser. We find out what the laser is later. Yeah. Um, and you have it here. They uh, really want this team to be the team from Aliens, but they're not. Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> They try really hard to like, these are the badass, cool science and whatever yeah. people. And I'm like, no, they're all fucking lame. The interpersonal stuff is so stilted. Yeah. And everyone looks like, again, this came out after the Matrix. Mm. And everyone vaguely looks like someone who would be involved in yeah. the second like The third. blonde girl kind yeah. of looks, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What are their names? Like Colin Switch or something like that. Uh, no, Call was Alien Resurrection. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just chew those chips right in the goddamn microphone. Mm-hmm. Dude. Um... So yeah, they're they're not good. I like the girls' condom analogy though. Yeah, that was good. Because they couldn't justify why this exploration team needs guns. Mm-hmm. They couldn't write a good just say, hey, you know what? I'm Whalen. I have contracts with the military. They've allowed me a military yeah. escort on this mission. Yeah. But you can have army guys like Predator. Remember Predator, Paul? Fucking awesome Predator. Yeah, Paul, remember you could have, I know you can't get Space Marines because <laughs> you didn't set your movie in the future. Mm-hmm. Maybe that wasn't your fault. That's fine. But if you watch this movie called Predator mm-hmm. starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, you might have heard of it. You could have had like actual military dudes in mm-hmm. this. It would have been awesome. And, they're and taking, they don't even have to look like real military dudes. No. They can have an impractical minigun and an MTV shirt. If, if they were taking science people down into a thing with with a private military force, this movie would make so much more Well, yeah. it would make so much more sense, but it would be a little bit better. Yeah. And you know what? Uh, why, did he even, why are they even bringing guns in the first? Well, the girl says, oh, it's like a condom. I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. It's like, okay, but realistically, what are you expecting to fight down there, even if there's another rival person. Well, John Peters was there and he said, we need a polar bear. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, It's, uh, this is where you do the whole thing where it's like, we sent a team down there Mm -hmm. and they went missing. So we don't know. We need to send another team. See, like the movie Predator or Aliens. Like we sent a thing and they went missing. Yeah. See, like anyone could have... How come no one's hiring us to do these things? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'm sure I'm sure Disney's going to hear a Predator comics pitch, I'm, and we're going to get I'm that call. pretty sure they are. Now. We don't need this fucking place anymore. Fuck <laughs> hack the movie's video. Uh, so the Italian guy, who is the, uh, the best character in the movie because mm-hmm. he's Italian, he mm-hmm. tells her about the Hunter's Moon. And you said that's funny, but I don't, I don't I'm going to... They bl- laugh about it. He goes, oh, it means Hunter's Moon. And then she goes, Hunter's Moon? Ha, 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 ha. And then he laughs. And I was like the fuck is so funny? By the way, that actor, I was like, wonder what else he's been in? Go on IMDb? Nothing but Italian movies and yeah, shows. Yeah, well, there you go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How did the snow look in this movie, Newt? Uh, I guess good. I 
a lot of the behind the scenes and a big chunk of the commentary track is dedicated to how proud they were of how good the snow looked. It's like, <laughs> it's like okay, you made an Alien and Predator yeah. movie. Shouldn't you be more proud of how good the Alien and Predator fighting? I mean, it's good. It's good snow. It so looks they, real. They, it looks fine. Yeah. But like, I I wouldn't dedicate most of my commentary track to so that. So they go to they land at what was a whaling station. Yes, in which went missing in 1904, which was in the extended uh-huh. cut beginning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're looking around. They're like, everybody, you know, has each other's back and all that kind of stuff. But of course, there's dipshits who wander away. And the one guy, uh, you hear something rustling in, and you're like, oh, maybe it's a face hugger or Ooh. something like that. And it builds up and it's a CGI penguin. Is it CGI? It looks like it was CGI. I don't know if it was CGI. It was Probably voiced by Elijah Wood. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Feet, directed by George Miller. That movie was good. It was good. Happy yeah. Feet was good. Brittany yeah. Murphy, dude, fucking rest in peace. Who? Brittany Murphy. Oh right, yeah. yeah. Um, I think he said was, f- f- Freddie Mercury. And I'm like Freddie Mercury. Was, I'm like that was a weird thing. To he say. was yeah. Just randomly, I like to say people who died. <laughs> Helen Keller. <laughs> Larry King. Larry King. I was shocked Larry King was still alive. Not that he died. <laughs> um, so, new is this movie better or worse than the Thing prequel remake? Well, well you want to chew before you answer. Maybe chew before you answer. Alien vs. Predator at least had mostly practical effects. Yeah. So I guess it better, but it didn't have Mary Elizabeth Winstead. So. Yeah. Although I do like Santa Lathan. Um, here's the thing. Alien vs. Predator was a bigger letdown. Yes, big time. But it's a way better movie than the I thing. Had, I <laughs> had no... Like going into the thing, I was it was almost like I had to watch it. Yeah. And I was just like, whatever. Also, with the thing prequel, people were like, if it had practical effects, it would have been good. It's like, no, still would have been a really yeah. bad movie. Uh-huh. It just would have had nicer effects. <laughs> so Waylon should have just hired like the drillers from Armageddon. Yeah. They yep. might have done a better job mm-hmm. and been funnier. Yeah. Uh, but they get there and they're like, ha! Huh, son of a bitch, the hole's already dug. And Pay me like, now. How? And they're like, ah, looks like something shot down. What do you know? Let's put our sled there. It's like, does no one's worried about this? How were they going to get down there before? Just digging? Like, how? Yeah. How big were their drill? Was their drill? Well, I mean, there was a drill big enough to put a hole in a fucking comet to not have the earth explode in Armageddon. I'm assuming that. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Uh Tony. (laughs) <laughs> so instead of just being like, wow, it looks like something literally came out of the sky and shot the ground. They're like, well, let's go down there. Yeah. It's like, no, this is where you go back and be yeah. like, hey, uh, there's something down or there. Or maybe like some people stay up top and they're like, all right, we're going to monitor the situation from up here in case you guys have an issue when you go down into the dark, creepy hole yeah. that came out of nowhere. Yeah. And then we get uh, some backstory. And Sana Lathan is very sad because she finds out Waylon is dying. He claims he's not, but she's like, look, my dad injured himself when we climbed and then I had my first drink with him and then he died on the way down. And he's like, oh, but he's like, what do you think his last memory was dying or having a drink with his daughter? And it's like character development. (laughs) You know what? In the theatrical version, Mm -hmm. you know what I haven't seen yet? Aliens or predators. Yeah. So this movie and the, Paul W. Sanderson's proud, and I guess his heart was in the right place. He's a proud boy. <laughs> He's a very proud boy. He made that racist joke in Monster Hunter. Well, there you go. Cancel Paul <laughs> W. Sanderson. No. Um, so Paul W. Sanderson, he's following the rule of don't show your monster mm-hmm. right away. And he's proud. He's like, look, I delayed the monster more than Alien Resurrection and Alien 3 did. Here's the thing, though. The movie's called Alien vs. Predator. This is the fifth goddamn alien movie. We've already seen the aliens. Yeah. And now we want to see them fight predators. Yeah. You got to show them a little fucking earlier. Like, this isn't... You're not making high art. Like, this is... I love the it's, comics, but even they're kind of schlocky. Yeah. Like, you you want to see aliens... It's called Alien versus Predator. It's not fucking the and taming the of the shrew. And the predators are human enough that... Hold on. We got some people outside of the store. We're closed. <laughs> so the predators are human enough that we can relate to them yeah. enough, mm-hmm. like with body language. Which is why so- I think they changed the look, which we'll get to as well. Which yeah, kind of bugged me. 
yeah, kind of so really bugged me. I again, I, I appreciate not wanting to show your monster, but the fifth Alien movie, third Predator movie, and it's built around fights and stuff. Yeah, Freddy versus Jason. You see Jason first ten minutes, yeah. followed by Freddy yep. really quick exactly. after that. So it's one of those things too, where it's like they show them in like the the, the building up thing. And it's just lame. The predator suiting up scene is so fucking lame and stupid. They made their blades so big. Yeah. yeah. Compensating uh, for something, Paul W.S. Anderson. Can't, that you're no. not Paul <laughs> Thomas Anderson. Not Paul Thomas uh-huh. Anderson. Although the aliens and the predator showing up at Boogie Nights would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so since they are allergic to having action scenes built around the alien and predator, mm-hmm. they're like, let's have an exciting guy falls down a tube scene. Yeah. And we got to save him with the ice pick. And, and it's my like, whole thought was don't kill the guy who writes the checks. Yes. <laughs> Cause Waylon almost dies. <laughs> and it's like, can we, why is Waylon, why, why does he wait till the sled's built? Yeah. Why does he have to personally hey, go I'm down a with champion them? of industry and I have some health problems. Mm-hmm. You guys come get me when we're ready. I'm going to sit in my warm room and, and stab yeah. my hand yeah. with yeah. fucking a pen. <sighs> <laughs> so I think Zack Snyder saw this next scene. Because the alien, the predators travel via sex toy. Yes. And I laughed out loud in my office while watching this. They do look like butt plugs. Yeah. Uh, but Zack Snyder must have watched that because of the Man of Steel, which we have a commentary track commentary out for track. now. I get drunk and cry. Newt got drunk and <laughs> cried. Um, in that movie, he puts the bad guys into the Phantom Zone in Big Dildo. Yeah, that was weird. I was like, Warner Brothers said this that was, was okay. one of the scenes you cried at. You said it was so beautiful. Were you too drunk I, to remember? I, yeah, you know, that might that actually makes a lot of sense. <clears throat> So yeah, the predator ship shoots them down there. Mm-hmm. Even though the predator ship's invisible and it could just land, yeah. it shoots them down there. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> <laughs> um, so we get to the pyramid finally. Yeah. It's a CGI mat shot another look great bad C- and yeah. there was no reason to show that. Yeah. They, yeah. Li- I think they built a miniature pyramid, but the way it was composited it yeah, looked really bad. It looked bad. I do like the Aztec imagery of the aliens and the that Predator. That was cool because yeah. that was actually artwork they used to promote the movie as well. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, it's neat the way they even like the shit in the temple of yeah. the Predator statues. I was like, oh, it's cool because yeah. it was Aztec style. You so know? what they finally did, and I think I have to go back. I think. As far as Alien 1, mm-hmm. there was a concept for a pyramid yeah. to be in these movies. And I think the original idea was that the alien ship crashed into a pyramid that had the eggs. And the pyramid concept, the, uh, the concept design made it into one of the Alien vs. Predator games. Okay. So I feel like they these movies have been trying to work in a pyramid yeah. at some point. So they finally did, but it's like we want to see an alien pyramid, like an yeah. H.R. Giger pyramid. Not, not this fucking Aztec pyramid. Not like, yeah, uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple. It's like Casa Bonita <laughs> type of shit that the aliens like, and predators are in. It, looks, it does not look that good. <laughs> it look, like everything just looks like styrofoam. <laughs> at no point do I think I'm looking at stone. No, not at all. <laughs> yeah, so the predators show up. Yeah. And they just start hunting the security people. Mm-hmm. And I don't even think like one of them has a gun. Like, I don't know why they're bothering hunting them because they're not supposed to even be there for them, but... Aren't they supposed to see and assess threats and they fight people based on the threat level? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So they're just warming up. Was finish it, chewing, no, god damn it. I'm, I'm eating these delicious Doritos chips because I didn't get lunch today and washing it down with Bud Light. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're supposed to like assess the threat and like should we fight them or not. And yeah. I get it if they want to hunt them as like a warm up. Mm-hmm. Um, what were the predators doing there? They were, they had a, they mentioned that it's like a tr- rite of passage for them. Yeah, but I mean, that like, was it, these people just so happened to wander in yeah. when they were getting ready to have a hunt in a completely barren... No, no, we, we'll get to that. They, okay. they mentioned it later. Um, So yeah, they hunt these guys. Yeah. And there's no blood. Mm-mm. Uh, there is one cool shot where the guy gets hit with the spear and the spear reveals, reveals itself. Reveals itself, yeah. That was kind of <laughs> cool. That was cool. But then they're hanging up people, but they're not skinned. Yeah. Uh, and here's a problem I have. Okay. I have an issue with seeing predators in the snow. Yeah. The, because. Because <laughs> in Predator, Paul, have you seen it? It's really good. <laughs> in Predator. Yeah. The uh, girl Anna says that only in the hottest seasons do these hunters come. Mm-hmm. And then in Predator 2, 
forget Predator 2. Even though that that takes place during Heat, heat wave, wave, yeah. Just figure out if you want to ignore two, even though you're using the spear, go to one. Only in the hottest thing, the reptilian, and they fucking like heat. planet from the 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 Robert Rodriguez produced one. They go to a gaming reserve that yeah. has that climate. That, yeah, that's afterwards. Yeah. But yeah, so like, and I get like, oh, the Antarctica used to be habitable and maybe yeah. it used to be hot. It's like, well, it's not anymore. The predators would have left. I the predators the, would have taken the queen. The and predators them. only should have showed up because someone disturbed <laughs> one of their hunting reserves and then they show up there. No, that's not it. They they attract them there. Yeah, no, I get yeah, it. They, yeah. Turning on the pyramid, which turned on the satellite is what drew the people Which there, is and so they just knew people would go fucking there. Fucking stupid. It's very stupid. We know what else is stupid. Well, this whole movie? Yeah, so uh, <laughs> the guy, the, the, the crew are walking into the pyramid, mm-hmm. and the one guy steps on the one brick that activates the entire pyramid. It's exactly. like, what if no one stepped on that? Yeah, they would just be waiting. They're like, oh, fuck. Like, like What, do, we, what, what do if the do? predators didn't even step on that? Yeah. Would they have just got there and been like, oh, th- there's the eggs. We'll just Kill the eggs. Yeah. Like, All right. Bye. <laughs> so, so so that wakes it up, and uh, we get the the, the queen. ice queen. Yeah, the ice queen, as I called her. Yes. I dated uh, a few of them. Which this, as of right now, this is one of the only three or four things from the comics. Mm-hmm. The queen alien chained up, yeah. forcing to lay eggs. Yeah. That is how the original comic started. Mm-hmm. The queen aliens chained. They're going to a planet. They're gonna launch some eggs down to fight some aliens. Yeah. In the in the comic though, the queen snuck on a queen alien egg mm-hmm. and they didn't catch it. Yeah. Uh, but this one, she's just there, and the miniature looks good. Yeah. I'll give him credit. The miniature mm-hmm. looks really, really good. Uh, but she's so they keep her alive because she's in the ice. Yes. Okay. But I was just like, why wouldn't she be able to just keep? I guess because she's chained up. I don't know. Because I was like, the alien queen and aliens is on the outside of the ship, and she's. Fine. Like, I mean, doesn't... fine for now. Who knows how? I don't long. know. It's they just... probably can't exist for long without like food and stuff, which is why they put her in suspended animation. <sighs> suspended animation is different than being in the vacuum of space. No, so you're I gonna think, decay yeah, in space. I get it, but I'm just like, I don't know. But she's frozen. I like the ice on her, and I like her waking up. Mm, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Again, the practicals that they used on <laughs> alien stuff looks great. Sometimes. Sometimes. We'll get to it. I like the lip quiver a lot. Yeah. They did a good uh, job with that. Newt. I think it's time for a halftime show. Uh, yeah. This video is sponsored by Ray, Ray, Ray Shadow, Shadow Legends. Legends. The cat. Talking talk about, talk about, talk about, about tapes. tapes. Tony and the row. Tate and co hosts are great. Hacking up movies in a visceral, verbal way. Stacking up reviews, he's like Cool Jaws, Scooby, the 13th of Friday, Go Ship, The Devil's Advocate, and even Stargate, King Kong, and YouTube, with Adam's family values too, even got a goofy dude making a silly mini tune. so tune in every Monday to hear what Tony and friends say, tune in every Monday to hear what Tony and friends say, talk, talking about tapes, talk, talking about about tapes, talking about tapes, talking, talking about tapes, talk, talking about tapes, we're talk, talking, talk, talking, talking about tapes. The heat vision. Yes. Sucks. Oh my God. Yes. And they use, the, in the commentary, they're like, yeah, we use night, uh, heat vision cameras. To, so in the original Predator, mm-hmm. they used real heat vision cameras, but the color was added. Yeah. Because heat vision cameras, they don't have color. They need it to look alien and yeah, yeah, yeah because they wanted to show the heat signature. Mm-hmm. That's not how real heat si- yeah. heat vision works. So they had access to the same cameras, but then when they went to color it, they didn't do like the yellow and yeah, blue. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, why, why wouldn't you do that? Why wouldn't you make it look like the heat vision from that? The- probably would have cost money, and that probably would have also like someone would have had to have think think of that, you know. And I feel like that's a little <sighs> bit too much work for Paul W S Anderson. You know. It's pretty terrible. Yeah. It's pretty terrible. <laughs> um, oh, you don't like the lead Predator's mask? That was stupid as fuck. I think they called him Celtic in the toy line. I thought it was fine. All right, so the Predators should have a uniform thing, and then they add to it, like they scar themselves and all that. But I feel like 
there were probably guys sitting around going, oh, it's going to be awesome. This predator is going to have a skull face eh, and we're going to sell a toy of it. And it's going to look badass until you see it in execution. And you go, oh, it looks really stupid. I thought it looked fine. Oh, Predator 2 had some weird mass. Yeah, and then, um, this just the, the, the I liked in Predators, the guy added jawbone. That was his. cool. Well, yeah. that was because like a hunter, like a big game hunter, yeah. they add shit to their, yeah, you yeah. know. I don't know. I thought the mask was fine. The, the Predators are way too bulky. Yeah. Oh, they're thick. They, they are like football players. And yeah. like, Paul, hi, Paul. If you watch Predator, you will know that they were tall and lean and mm-hmm. agile because they were swinging from buildings yes. and trees. Yep. They were not big, beefy football they're players. They're so big that it takes you out of it, especially when they're running in a rubber oh, suit. Oh, they look so bad and I'm running. Like, that's fucking funny. Um, so they get to the egg chamber mm-hmm. and there's a Alien 3 logo on the floor. Yes. There's a lot of Alien 3 logos in this. Yeah. Which again, if you don't know what we're talking about, YouTube search Alien 3. Yes, please. I just, just see what comes up. Just see what comes up. Alien 3, just let me know. Based on your YouTube results of Alien 3, let us know if you want us to review it or yeah, not. I'd love to review it. We get a teeny bit of blood. We do get a little bit yeah, of blood. A little bit more blood. Uh, and then the Predators, like, they kill that. So one of the guys that was shooting at them mm-hmm. falls down the tunnel. Yeah. And then he's alive. Yeah. He somehow didn't hit the sled on the way down uh, and then crawled over like 10 feet. Mm-hmm. Uh, they kill him even though he's unarmed. Yeah. And maybe you could justify it as being like, well, they knew that he was down, so they just put him out of his misery. Yeah. But usually the Predators, the Predators don't, kill something unless it's actually like a threat but even if they're unarmed like the end of predator one he realizes arnold's unarmed but he still wants to engage in combat so he takes off all the extra stuff except for the knife yeah there but like guy on the ground i'm like that's mean didn't it, <laughs> didn't in predator 2 it didn't kill somebody because their gun was empty there was a there was a kid who had a fake gun yes and he he examined it and saw mm-hmm. it was plastic and let him go yeah. yep uh, so yeah, the uh, the humans they go underneath the egg chamber and mm-hmm. they find a casket, and it's like finding Moses's DVD collection. And I was like, what kind of movies would Moses have? I bet you it would divide the audience. Oh, huh. well, Prince of Egypt, obviously, oh, yeah. and then um, Thunderheart starring Val Kilmer. Mm. He's really into Thunderheart. Very into that. What else? Um, uh, a lot of porn. Yeah, Moses, probably a lot of Moses porn. Loves porn. I'm thinking. Uh, Garden Tess. Yes. He, Moses was a big Garden yeah, Tess fan. Yeah, big Garden Tess fan. Yep. And uh, Arlington Road. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> let's go. I watched that movie being filmed. Yeah, oh, I good. I told you that. Good. Yeah. Moses wishes he was there. They look at the calendar and they figure out like, oh, every hundred years, something's supposed mm-hmm. to happen. So they open it up and they find the guns. Yeah. The reason the guns are in there. Yeah. <sighs> because Paul W. Sanderson was like, oh, I can't have the Predators have their guns because we don't have enough aliens for them to fight because how many people are there like 12 yeah something like that yeah i'd have to count i think there might be more aliens than hosts in this yeah i th- i got to count and go back if you uh, look at the flashback scene too what the fuck was all the aliens like there weren't enough people in aztec culture well, for that. well, 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 well I, all right i have an idea for okay. that one um so so what he did <laughs> he was like well I could just write some more characters mm-hmm. or, you know what? The queen alien's frozen. What if there's some frozen drone aliens? Yeah. Yep. There you go. But he didn't do that. Uh, so he's like, well, if the predators have, if all three predators have their guns right away, it's going to be a really short movie. Yeah. So he had the whole thing where like the predators were training to get, I guess the idea was if the humans didn't fuck up the beginning mm-hmm. of the thing, the predators would walk in after they got attacked or no. Exactly. I, I No, because then someone would need to be in the egg chamber, but they're not going to sacrifice create hosts. But they're not going to sacrifice themselves, themselves yeah. like the ancient a- So it doesn't make sense. Doesn't make any fucking sense. It doesn't at, make sense. At least in like the Predators, there was uh the one that Danny Trejo was in. Like the Predators that were there were like the outcast ones and yeah. they just took over that area. Because it wasn't their planet. It was exactly. just a gaming reserve. It was reserve. just a gaming reserve. They just dropped aliens there and they attacked But there them. was a plan. Here, it's just a bunch of happen circumstances that when you actually line it up and go, okay, well, if you do it that way, it still doesn't it, make it sense. It makes sense in their Aztec flashback, but it's like, you haven't modified this You're for You're in current? Antarctica. <sighs> anyway. What if the penguin <laughs> opened it up and there was nowhere there to protect it and it's just fucking... <laughs> so. Yeah. The, uh... <laughs> 
By the way, I think there's cobwebs in this movie. Yeah, which would totally be in Antarctica. <laughs> Who's making yeah. these webs? Anyway, uh, arachnophobia. Spiders. <laughs> the, the spiders. Oh yeah, arachnophobia. arachnophobia. People should look up arachnophobia. Look up arachnophobia. On YouTube, it's pretty good. You know. Um, so yeah, the humans take the guns. It starts off the thing. Mm-hmm. Who's been maintaining the mechanics of this pyramid for a hundred years? Like, does anyone? They, they just hope for the best. Okay, I hope they have like a thing monitoring it, being like, "Hey, t- the thing broke down. The queen's about to thaw out." It's like, "Oh shit, we better get to her." Yeah, exactly. Uh, but no, their stone conveyor belt mm-hmm. <laughs> works perfect. Of Why course, is it made yeah. Of stone? Well, it was in the ice. It doesn't get a lot of use. Preserved. Not everything needs to be made out of stone in the pyramid. I know they got the humans to make the pyramid, but they could put some of their own technology in there, not just a little bit. Uh, so the miniatures look great, except for the eggs yeah. and the egg sack. They look like toys. Mm-hmm. And according to the commentary track, the guy doing the egg sack is the one from Alien. Same oh. same puppeteer, dude. They got him out of... <laughs> they brought him out to do it. Yeah. Like, whatever. <laughs> it's like, fucking... wow, this, he's probably... He probably looked in the theater and he's like, oh, that miniature wasn't shot that well. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the egg chamber fills up. Mm-hmm. The girl tries to stop the stone with like that box and the box gets the shredded. Box gets That's pretty shredded, cool. Yeah. Um, so then the eggs pop up, which is like six eggs. Yeah. And There's then, like eight people in the room. And then what happens, Newt? The oh oh Jesus Christ! So the the uh, the face hugger jumps out in CGI slow motion because they all like jump out, don't they? It at was once? so bad. I because again I didn't see this scene. Yeah. It's so fucking embarrassing looking. I think... Uh, but they do it like eight times in the movie. Yeah, that might have been a trailer shot. I'd have to check the trailer. Oh, there's so many trailer no, shots in this movie. There's a lot of trailer yep. shots. Uh, so, yeah, the face And they huggers. called it the sacrifice room. They're like, what did you call this place again? He's like, the sacrifice yeah. room. Yeah, and then they hear the firing, and then Whalen's people start pulling out machine guns yeah. that they just happen to have concealed. Mm-hmm. And it's like, again, what were you really expecting to fight down yeah. here? I'm still not really sure. Uh <laughs> The aliens mm-hmm. chest burst. Yeah. Pretty freaking quick. There's <laughs> no ju- but again, in all these movies, there's kind of a very loose timeline on yeah. gestation. But this one, it's just like we got we got shit to do. Like Yeah, I think like <laughs> Alien, it's like a day. Mm-hmm. Aliens that when they get there, they're already basically hatched, except for like a few people. Um Alien 3, it was a queen, so I think they gave it more time. But even the dog or the cow in Alien 3, depending on which version you watch, if you don't know what we're talking about, YouTube search Alien 3. Um, even then, I think that was like a day that they had it in them. So This is like 10 minutes. This is like 10 minutes. It, eventually, this record would be beaten in Alien Covenant. Oh, that's right. Where Ridley Scott just didn't bother to watch his movie to see how long it took. But it's like one of these things where it's like there's a bunch of people there and that scene should be meaningful. But I don't know who any of these characters are. They're literally just there to make care about any of these characters. This is why they should have did like a team went in first and they all got face hugged. Yep. Yep. There you go. Yeah. There you go. We did it for you. There you go. Oh my god! But instead, they just break is the out. the soul of wit. Yes. So they chest burst, mm-hmm. and it's the most bloodless chest burst you'll ever Which see. Was so funny. So freaking <laughs> bad. Uh, yeah, and we don't know who any of these characters are, but they start getting killed, and uh, the predator like hangs one guy, yeah. and then they find him. He spears another dude, but then the the main predator jumps across the oh my thing. god and it, since he's so bulky and stuff he looks like a robot it, I, it looked like a power rangers character it looked sh- shocking i remember even being back then being yeah. like that looks really bad and i was like at some parts they could hide it with the lighting they do an okay with the mm-hmm. lighting especially i would with the- say the cgi invisible effect is really good yeah in these. Mm-hmm. see that's one thing the cgi helps with these movies yeah i still kind of wish you saw a little bit more of that outline mm-hmm. effect but that didn't look too bad, but that jump is really bad. <laughs> uh, but I do kind of like the shifting pyramid idea. That was cool. It's got like a, um, uh, it reconfigures itself, and he says yeah. like every ten minutes, yeah. it moves, so he synchronizes his watch yeah. to that. And, you know, and it makes sense like how characters will get lost. Yeah. You know, what would be really stupid in the movie if a character who has a map and communication with the ship who also has a map. <laughs> Got lost because they got scared, but then everyone else got out of the same ship. Yeah, because they didn't know how to backtrack, even though they ha- have a ma- backtrack, even though they have a map. Yeah, like that would be stupid. That would be really stupid. It, would- it, 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 that's a situation where you should be like, okay, maybe the ship should have like 
changing stuff. Mm -hmm. Instead, it's bad screenwriting. The movie's called Prometheus. I want to talk about it one day. (laughs) Um, So that's one thing this movie does better than Prometheus. There you go. (laughs) Congratulations, Paul. Yeah. W.S. Anderson. So uh, characters get stuck in these tiny little vents. Yeah. And um, the the director said he wanted to imitate the small corridors and tunnels in Alien and Aliens. And Alien 3, there's parts where they're in like the corridors. The movies are kind of known for that. Uh, But I'm like looking at them and I'm like, there's no way these predators can fit through there. I guess these tunnels only exist for the aliens to run around the pyramid because I could not imagine these predators like like, getting in there being like, the humans who maybe serviced the machines while they I don't know <laughs> yeah uh, but the aliens are out and they're all they're already full grown yep. not only do they chest burst pretty early but they grow they pretty grow damn right fast. away and they're like fuck it we're full grown aliens <laughs> we're full grown xenomorphs now so the first alien attack yeah uh, it's just the Jurassic Park clever girl In a better movie, their tongues would have both gone through his head. You know, that would have been fucking cool. So the neck gun gets fired Mm -hmm. from Predator 2. Yeah. And it's a fun, it would have been a funny reference because the Resident Evil guy gets neck gun. Like, how funny would it be if If he he dies in the same same exact way? But instead, he stabs him. And you had to give the main alien a characteristic so you could make a toy out that, of it. That's coming up in a second. Yeah. Toy I own, actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, they the, the net is about to kill him, but then he stabs him before yeah. the net can kill him. It's like, why? Uh, but then, Again, that dude in that thing and the, and the wires of the net going through him and just like play doing yeah. him out in an R-rated movie <laughs> would have been fucking awesome. It's called Predator 2. Yeah. You don't see him get play doed out, yeah. but you see like it go into his yeah, body yeah. and But that would have been way cooler. So 53 minutes into the movie. Yes. Which is not something you want to do for this type of movie. No. We finally get the Alien versus Predator trailer mm-hmm. shot. So here's one thing I will say about this movie. It, it technically has all the things you kind of want to see in, in an Alien, Alien versus, versus Predator, Predator movie. movie. Yeah. So you get the face off, mm-hmm. but it looks stupid. And, like this movie does everything you want, but it's surrounded such bullshit. And yeah. the things it does, it doesn't really do well. How long is the alien's tail, by the way? Oh yeah, what the fuck? They made it look like the queen alien tail. <laughs> like even when they show it in CGI, mm-hmm. it's like their tails aren't that big in relation to their bodies. Yeah, and, and yeah. then they're never that big after that scene. It's like, why didn't you just save the impaling for? later in the movie. Exactly, when it would have a little bit yeah. more impact. Or... Although I do like once it stabs and shoots, mm. it like throws its body. I yeah. thought that was kind of the predator's like... <laughs> uh, and the girl gets sprayed with the green uh, blood. And then we get our first proper fight. Yes. Uh, which is a mixed bag. <laughs> Very <laughs> much so. Where, Again, are all the, where are all the light sources coming from? Did yeah. a bunch of people die and just leave their lights? Yeah, in they died in perfect position <laughs> as a lighting person would do it. And they're like, that was yeah. really good on yeah. our part. So the alien is fighting the predator and it goes about as well as you would expect. Yeah. Like uh, the predator uses this, mm-hmm. and, but the alien deflects with this and the alien does Again, this and the predator deflects with all that. of the things that you would want in an alien versus predator movie, yeah. but handled by a person who doesn't know why yeah. people want those things. Yeah. But you get like, uh, the alien uses its tail attack mm-hmm. and the predator slices the tail but yeah. and his thing is melted. And, uh-huh. uh, so here's, here's the thing. So everyone knows in aliens, they had different heads. Yes. And James Cameron, the real reason is James Cameron only had 12 aliens and he didn't want to make glass domes that had the possibility to break. So he came up with a thing. It's like, oh, maybe after like a week or two, the glass sheds and they have their hard dome. So you think maybe the glass is there while their brain is still growing. But according to this movie, their glass dome is strong enough to break fucking stone. Yes. It's used as a weapon later in the movie. Like when I, so when I read these comics and like the games and stuff, Mm -hmm. Alien versus Predator, I see it more as like, you know, Predator stabbing a bunch of aliens and shooting. Mm-hmm. And I don't really, I never really thought of them having a one on one duke them out fight. Exactly. Because I really, that's not what people wanted to see. Mm-hmm. They wanted to see them use, like, they wanted to see a few Predators against, like, armies of aliens. And it's because like, it's supposed to be their stealth and their cunning yeah. versus these mindless thinking drone. Monsters that are that also are, stealthy and cunning. It, well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But instead, it's just like, no, I'm just gonna do a fist fight. We're against gonna them. punch and like, so the aliens are just the resurrection aliens yeah. painted black. Yep. 
and they have different legs. Because remember in Alien Resurrection, they gave them those hind legs, yeah. like Velociraptors. Yep. For some reasons, they got rid of that. Mm-hmm. Um, so the aliens look okay, but then sometimes they're lit where they look very rubbery. Yeah, like their fa- their hands are mm-hmm. flopping around. That's the thing about a lot of this movie, and it was Stan Winston's protege. Yeah. Who did everything. But I'm like, why did they get so much of it wrong? I think it might have just been... It had to have been the lighting. Because yeah. their their effects look great in Alien 3. Mm. Rod Puppet aside yeah. in Alien 3. Uh-huh. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the Rod Puppet, look up Alien 3. Yeah, on, on YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> um, but no, like... So the Alien Resurrection, say what you will about that yeah. movie, the aliens look really good. Because yeah, they don't lit look very well. They don't look as biomechanical as I'd like, mm-hmm. but the actual effects look fine. Yeah. And then this is the same kind of design. They had a really cool animatronic alien mm-hmm. that could move real fast. Yeah. Uh, but then they kind of like overcranked the camera to make it faster. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, because the Predators weren't able to move fast because they were so bulky. Because they're big fucking bulky steroid yeah. dudes in rubber suits. So yeah, the way they're lit, they just look dry and rubbery. Yeah. And they, they look like costumes. Mm-hmm. Like again, like when they're fighting in this scene, um, like in this scene in particular, I'm like, this is these are two guys in that's suits. A, that's the twist. The people go down there and they realize that it's cosplayers fighting each other, and it's yeah. like they're actually just people in suits, you know. <laughs> I do kind of like when the alien gets his tail cut. He uses he As sprays weapon, the acid yeah. everywhere. But even then, the acid blood is like so inconsistent. It really is. Yeah. Like the predator takes off his like shield and mm-hmm. stuff, um, and then it gets away. Yeah. And the Predator's, like, looking all around. It does that mid-2000s choppy slow-motion mm-hmm. shot, which is weird. Yeah. Uh, alien attacks them. They fall into a cavern full of skulls, which yeah. looks cool. Mm-hmm. Net gun. And this is also clever. The net, it breaks the net with yeah. the acid, which the Predator probably should have known that was, how that was going to go. For the second kill, the Predators are down to two. Yeah. There's one Predator <laughs> left. <laughs> They're like, we are really not good at this. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of a cool shot. But you're right. They did mark that alien. Mm-hmm. Uh, probably for toys, which, again, I bought like just because I wanted like alien toys and stuff. Yeah, but they mark them. And you think, like, oh, that's going to be the alien yeah, to kill. Yep. And it's like... like, like uh, sp- I would not Spike. Uh, which what was the Gremlin's name? Stripe. Stripe. Yeah. yeah, something like that. But then... The rest of the movie, it doesn't really do much. No, exactly. Like, it doesn't feel like it's the leader no. at any point. I guess when they're freeing the queen, but not really. Yeah. And then That was kind of cool, the way they free the clean- yeah, queen. Yeah, we'll, we'll get cool. to that yeah. point. But, like, at no point in the movie am I thinking this is the leader. It's mm-hmm. just like, well, that's just an alien with yeah. a grid on its head. Exactly. It, cool, I guess. But what does it do? Again, you know what? Everything about this movie is uh, cool, I guess. You know what? I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna feel bad saying this. Mm-hmm. And you're probably going to get up and punch me. Okay. The Grid Alien does something better than Jurassic Park. <laughs> okay. All right. My problem with Jurassic Park, mm-hmm. they constantly refer to the big one, Raptor. Yeah. I never know which one I, the big I, one. I felt the same way. I'm just like. I can. When I watch that movie, I never know which mm-hmm. one is the big one. Yeah. Because they all look the same. Exactly. Like give it a scar, give it some kind of marking. It, maybe it has different like appendages or something like that. Just t- different eye color. Yeah. Just something to make it look. Because they all look the same mm-hmm. in Jurassic Park. I assume the big one is the one that's like looking when the snake crawls by in the movie. There's that one like shot. We don't know. Yeah. We don't know because there wasn't marked. Now, yeah. Alien vs. Predator, they're like, we're going to mark this particular alien mm-hmm. so you know it's that alien. Yeah. The difference is that alien doesn't do anything doesn't of do note. Fucking <laughs> shit. It's like, that's the alien that killed two predators. It's like, okay. Yeah, I, I'll, I'm going to take your word for it, Paul W.S. Well, Anderson. I feel like maybe you should have marked it beforehand that yeah. we would have known. But yep. now it's like, that's the one. And now it's not going to kill any other predator. <laughs> it's so stupid. Because there's only one left. It's so stupid. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's the first fight scene. And mm-hmm. this should have been, like, the greatest scene yeah. in movie history yep. for me at that age. Mm-hmm. Instead, I'm like, eh, yeah. Again, it's supposed to be cool, I guess. Whereas Freddy versus Jason. Oh my, they, that's awesome! Yeah, when they fight, it makes yeah. impact, you know? Uh, we'll okay. get to Batman versus Superman. <laughs> Maybe I'll cry again. I don't know. We'll yeah. see. At TNA TNT, if it goes, we got them! We got sparklers, doers, ground spinners, snappers, crackers, poppers, send them all up to the sky! We got them! We got Roman candles, black cats, M80, lady fingers, firecrackers, regular crackers. If it goes, we got them! TNA TNT, the best fireworks store in the south of New Jersey. 
So yeah, the the other predator is chasing Santa Lathan, yeah. the Italian guy who's the best character, mm-hmm. and Lance Henriksen. Uh, Lance Henriksen tells them to go because he's like dying. Yeah. Uh, the predator wobbles up in a rubber suit. Yeah, the predator wobbles <laughs> up. Uh, he examines. He sees the cancer, which mm-hmm. is pretty bad cancer. Fucking, That's like yeah. scary cancer. Like, Why are you in Antarctica right how now? How is he even alive? <laughs> um, so it decides to spare him, much yeah. like in Predator 2, he saw the girl was pregnant mm-hmm. and spared her. Yeah. But then he's like, don't turn your back on me. And he, and he torches it. With like I'm a- like, you just got a, a fucking monster hunter alien let you go. Hey man, it's cool. It's and then, fucking cool. So then the predator kills him, and now yeah. he's the second person to be killed by an alien predator and Terminator. Yes. Although, look up Alien Three. It, technically, the Queen Alien did not kill Bishop. Yeah. Ripley is the one who finally disabled yeah, him in exactly. Alien Three. For but- being technical, he has not yet been killed by an alien. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying. He was heavily damaged by yeah. one. Mm-hmm. Bill Paxton is still the only one that was killed by an alien predator and Terminator. Rest in peace, Bill Paxton. Rest in peace, Bill yeah. Paxton. I always um, said it was Bill Paxton and Bill Pullman, and Bill Pullman's still alive, so technically <laughs> he gets the tontine. <laughs> <laughs> the pyramid's shifting again. They're yeah. like, we gotta get in that room for some reason, and they almost get crushed. Yeah. But then the predator throws like a shuriken at them, mm-hmm. but they're unarmed. Yeah. Why? Why is the predator. He's blade. Is now. he is he like, oh, these guys fucked up the thing. I gotta kill them before they fuck up more things. Yeah. Like maybe you could justify it. He's like, I can't we can't afford more hosts for aliens. Mm-hmm. But if that's the case, this next thing coming up is pretty fucking <laughs> fucked. Uh but yeah, so I know you I know what you're thinking, dude. It's been a while since we had CGI face hugger. <laughs> uh, thank God there was another CGI face hugger because yes. yeah. And uh, we're getting to a point where I'm going to bitch about the CGI face hugger. Okay. Uh, but he cuts it in half, mm-hmm. which I didn't mind that being yeah. slow motion because yeah. that's cool. Then this scene is actually pretty awesome. The alien, you think it's a statue, and the alien gets up, mm-hmm. which is like alien when it's yeah. in the thing. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Uh, and it's crawling down the wall, and then he just slices his head. That was cool, yeah. And it's super schlocky. Mm-hmm. But in a movie like this where you're expecting more schlock, you, that, that works. They should have leaned into more stuff like that, that's, too. That's what I want to see from Alien vs. Predator. Yeah. Like, you know, aliens picking Predators one at a time, mm-hmm. and then Predators, like, doing all doing these cool, cool ninja shit. moves. Yeah. Not a fucking one-on-one duke them out battle. It's no a, one wanted it's that. It's a fist fight between a football player and a dude in a, in a <laughs> rubber costume. Oh, <laughs> uh. uh, yeah. Um, so the predator marks himself with the mm-hmm. scar, which is cool, which I mean, is it, one of the very few things from the comics. Yeah. The main predator and that actually gave himself a scar too. Yeah. He cuts off the finger of the alien and he uses its acid blood to mark himself and to yeah. mark his helmet. Yes. And then before he puts the helmet on a face hugger jumps, but then we don't see what happens. Yeah. And then this is the point where everyone in the movie theater went, ah, oh, they're oh, going to make yeah. an alien. Yeah, predator. There, there, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Probably shouldn't have shown that. And uh, d- w- wouldn't the predator kill itself if it knew that happened to it? Yeah. If yeah. the predator knew it was impregnated, which it, there's no way it couldn't know. It would kill itself. Because it would wake up and see the thing there and be yeah. like, oh, fuck. It would just blow himself up. Exactly. Yeah. They do it in the flashback. They're like, anytime there was some, there was, the thing was compromising over on, they blew it up. Hey, sorry, cool ice climbing black lady yeah. and, and Italian, Italian guy. Italian man, who's the best character because yeah. he's Italian. You're going to die because it's going to stop this thing from getting out. Yeah, but like, do they not have access to the ship? Because I'd be like, hey... We're fucked. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to blow up the thing. You should probably check and make sure none of them get out. Yeah. And then like, get right the f- away, you should be like, i got to blow it up. Instead, he's like, I'm going to go kill more Predator. Yeah, They're aliens. I'm fine. Oh, Just my God. Maybe he thought he could still fit. Remember, this is like, I guess they're like teenagers, yeah. which is a line that was cut out of the movie. Where the line there was uh, when the Italian guy is explaining the backstory. Apparently, she had a line where she's like, so they're teenagers? Maybe he was like, you know. With, a- with attitude. Yeah, maybe it was like a teenager <laughs> who like threw a party and like broke something. They're like, I can fix this. I can fix this before dad comes home. Oh, my God. Uh, dad that's all I can think cape about. at the end of the movie, too. So. Yeah. So, uh, what you got? The, the Italian guy finally goes into the backstory. Mm-hmm. And it's like you said, Chariots of the Gods. The Predators came down to a backwater planet. Yeah, which I, I like that a lot, though, that Earth yeah. is a backwater planet. And they, they made these pyramids to have these things. So, theoretically, there might be more than one pyramid. Yeah. Uh, That's what I was wondering. I was like, like, are they in different... By the way, this whole backstory is way cooler than the movie we've got. But that one shows... Okay, so that one shows, like, yes, these people sacrificed themselves Mm -hmm. in the egg chamber for the predators to... For the predators to have aliens to fight. It's like, okay, 
But how are they going to do that this time? Yeah. Like, they should have known it was going to get fucked. Like, who? What yeah. the? It. N- the more you think about it, the more you go, this makes no fucking no. sense. No. Uh, but then we get And there that- was no writer's strike or fucking bullshit yeah. like that. Uh, then we get that cool shot of like all the predators on the pyramid yeah. fighting millions of aliens. Exactly. Which I'm guessing that's an example of things things that got that would think that was the Aztecs. They're like, oh no, things got a little too out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> but that one that has something you want to see where like a predator falls, like five aliens are ripping yeah, it yeah, apart. Yeah. Like this is the movie we wanted. Yep. And I get you didn't have the budget, so you could only do it in all this this one goddamn scene. God but I'm it. thinking, like, what if, like, they worship them as gods? Yeah. If that if that thing walked in right now, I'd be like, I'll suck it. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll suck it. You're my god now. Uh, so yeah, the guy says the heat bloom was a way to lure us down here, and it's like yeah. that was a fucking stretch. Uh, and then I get another CGI face another hugger? Another CGI print face hugger, yep. <sighs> and then uh, you have a note here. What was the KY budget on this movie? Oh, yeah. Funny, so, funny thing. Okay. Uh, listening to the director's commentary, mm-hmm. uh, Prague's version of KY was not as good. Oh. So they had to import, like, buckets of That's KY jelly for the movie. Because whatever they have in Prague didn't work as well. The people in Prague are like, these fucking Hollywood people are disgusting Perverts. Yeah, why don't they? What's wrong with our lube? I yeah. don't understand. <laughs> now I feel bad for the people of Prague. I know, <laughs> but yeah. So uh, 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 was the Irish guy? The guy uh, he was in. The, yeah, he was in the Tom Skerritt scene that got cut out of the first movie. Right. He, he shoots. Guess. He he gets a gun. Yeah, and he's able to shoot the face hugger. And then this scene makes no goddamn yeah. sense. The camera pulls out, and then all the eggs are opening up. It's like, yeah. why would they all open up? By the way, why are they still pumping out eggs? Yeah. Why didn't the machine stop? And so the aliens because are, no one serviced it. So are all the aliens going to the egg chamber and then putting these eggs here? And not one of the aliens are like, "Where's the queen?" <laughs> well, whatever. I'm gonna put this egg here. Yeah. And now you're gonna have all these face huggers just running around with nothing to grab like, in Antarctica. How long can they live without getting onto a host? Yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah, the more I'm thinking about, I'm like trying to figure out where we are in the movie and all this kind of <sighs> stuff. I'm like, this is stupid. There's this is no all so need for this many xenomorphs. Yeah. <laughs> so the Italian guy, who's the best character, yeah. he was like, we we should give them their gun back and uh, maybe they'll be friends with us. Mm. We got to unite with them to stop these aliens. Yeah. The friend of my friend uh, is, my, is my, the friend of my enemy is my friend. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Which was also used in Predators. And Blade 2. Um, so the door opens up, no Predator. So they're yeah. like, oh, let's just run. Yeah. Uh, they get to like a cavern with like a broken bridge and they mm-hmm. jump over it. Yes, another. And if you look above, there's light. Mm-hmm. At no point does rock climbing lady go, oh, wait, I'm I a, can scale that. I can, I can climb that. Yeah. I know I know a thing or two mm-hmm. about climbing rocks. Yeah. Maybe she didn't have her equipment. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so it's weird. You that... know who would have made that climb? What? Ethan Hunt. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. But now it's like, wait, so where is that on the surface? Because wouldn't you just scale down from that? It's so stupid. <laughs> they just need it uh, to justify a light source yeah, there. Yep. Uh, oh but my God. she she starts falling down. An alien, grid alien, mm-hmm. kills Italian guy. Yeah, I was so a little sad. By he's that. the worst alien. Whose now. name I never got. Yeah. 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 They said it, but yeah. who cares? I, yeah. <laughs> um, Sound of Lathan climbs up and it's like almost exactly the shot of Ripley coming out of yeah. that like yep. tube in mm-hmm. Alien. She grabbed the Predator spear? No. She grabbed like a spear off like a off statue. Off the statue, yeah. And she kills an alien. Yeah. Uh, and then the alien like dies, but then it comes back to life and it like almost bites her. Yeah. Which is kind of a cool shot. The tongue thing is used way too much in this movie so yeah. it stops being cool anymore, yeah. you know? Yeah, it's really freaking annoying. Like, remember um, in, remember in uh, Aliens when yeah. she's in the power lifter yeah. and it's really cool? Yeah. Yeah. This is like if they did it every five seconds. Exactly. Uh, so then the Predator shows up and he puts his gun on and he just kills a bunch of those aliens. Yeah. And at this point, the queen is finally like, hey, aliens, I need help. Yeah. And then Grid is like, I think Grid like dodges out of the way of one that gets shot, which yeah. is from Alien Resurrection when the one swims out of the way. Yeah. So then Grid is like, all right, other aliens, there sure is a lot of you. Not sure how many people we had. Let's let's go save the, the queen. queen. Um, and they use their acid blood. blood. Yeah. So, they, so they're doing the scene from Alien Resurrection mm-hmm. when they go to escape. Yeah. But it's like they're hurting the queen. It's like, what if these aliens, like, kill one of them and then just break them into pieces yeah. and spread mm-hmm. the blood around? Like, wouldn't they want to, instead of just 
spitting over and over queen. again and hurting their queen. Also, Alien 3 and 4 showed that they could vomit yeah. acid. Yeah. Probably be smarter to vomit acid. But again, I don't think Paul W. S. Sanderson. Now that I'm thinking about it, why didn't they just vomit acid? And, you know, I guess they didn't have enough acid to justify melting the floor. But in this one, they could have just vomited acid onto her again, hands and stuff. I, 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 now that I'm thinking more about this movie, I'm getting mad. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so then the predator uh, decides to recruit the girl. Yeah. Um, and he makes her a weapon. Mm -hmm. I do like that he shows her, like, look, the acid doesn't work on them, yeah. so this head will protect you. Mm -hmm. How she's able to put her hand in the alien head, I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> um, and then he makes a spear out of her. A spear that would show up in The Predator years yeah. later. <laughs> um, I do kind of like the hand. No, that's cool. Which it's might a cool be, I have to skim the comic again. That might be from the comic. Did they ever make a toy of that? They didn't. That I always thought cool. it'd be cool to have yeah. like a toy of that. Yeah. Like a barbarian kind yeah, of Yeah, that'd be awesome. But uh, they never did. And then they run away together. And mm -hmm. again, in the comics, the girl does team up with the Predator, yeah. but it's not stupid. Which is funny because it's a fucking comic book. So you'd expect it to be really <laughs> stupid. But when you read it, you're like, yeah. this is not stupid. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they find Italian guy whose name is Sebastian. We finally know his name. Yeah, it's like and, fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. We find out their name right before the end. <laughs> and then uh, Sebastian's in the wall and he's like, he's doing the kill me. Yeah. Which is from the deleted scene in one and yeah. also in two. And but they added it back in in 2000 when they re-released it. 2000, actually the year before this, 2003. Yeah. Holy shit. I forgot uh, that came out then. The Predator's about to like kill him and she's mm -hmm. like, no. And it's like, well, the Predator has a lot of balls. For wanting to kill him, even though he has an alien in him. <laughs> By the way, an alien that hasn't hatched yet. When it's been way long. Again, these are aliens that their their physiology. I, I guess predators take longer. Yeah. <laughs> the science is based on pot, plot conveniences. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, so she shoots him in the head. Mm hmm. <laughs> that's not where the pre that's not where the alien comes yeah. out of. So she just kills him a little earlier, uh, and she's all sad. And mm -hmm. then this uh, dramatic scene is undercut by the predator grabbing the chest burster and, and breaking, breaking its neck, its neck. <laughs> and like shaking its head at him. <laughs> um, they're in this new hive, this nest, yeah. and there's all these eggs. But it's like, didn't the eggs just hatch? What are there more eggs now? Like the queen stopped laying eggs. She's gone. She's gone. And I will give this movie credit. The CGI aliens don't look too bad. No, they look okay. They're better than the CGI yeah, aliens yeah. in Resurrection. Yeah. Again, the alien in Alien 3 is not CGI. Mm -hmm. If you don't believe us, search Alien 3. Yeah. Um, yeah, so <laughs> he shows her the bomb. Mm -hmm. For some reason, he doesn't want to die, but he yeah. wants to use his bomb. It's like, all right, asshole. What a dick. But I like how he, he has to explain that it's a bomb to a human. Mm -hmm. And he just goes. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, predators can like record people and play it back, yeah. but I guess no one said the word bomb. So he's like, "How do I?" Okay, boom. These little boom. Fucking, these idiots. Look, look like that. You get that? Yeah, right. yeah. And she's like, "It's a bomb. I hope it kills every fucking one of them." And this is another one where it's like you wasted your PG thirteen fuck because yeah. you don't understand what you're doing. Here's the thing, though. That is a good complaint. I remember looking it up a long time ago, and I should have looked it up again. I think fucker doesn't count for PG-13 fucks. I think there's like there's like an exception for like fucker for some reason. I forget what the reason is. Look it up um, on whatever search engine you use. DuckDuckGo, I don't know. So look. Up. I'm going to use SG. Jeeves. <laughs> <F> -S> -G <laughs> <in>. <laughs> so this pyramid that's been shifting mm -hmm. the whole movie. I guess it just stopped shifting because he it sets was, the bomb and then they run out and they yeah, just get out. It was tired. By the way, Predator, mm -hmm. uh, he does. He has no way to relay how much time is for this girl, yeah. but he starts running. It's like, give yourself a half hour. Yeah. Give, you know this ship is around. Mm -hmm. Once you're out, be like, hey, scan yeah. for the aliens, kill any that are there with your laser. I, I, I put a bomb down there an hour ago. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna blow up, but there might be some that got out. So mm -hmm. let's let's yeah, let's yeah. hang out. Yeah. Instead, he's like, five minutes. Let's go. And it's like, why would you give yourself so little time? <laughs> Even if they get out of the pyramid, it's gonna be a while before mm -hmm. they get to civilization. 
without this, you want to get her saying the ugly motherfucker, and she kills she kills a regular alien, explodes yeah. his head, he flies over to the other aliens where Grid is. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that should have been Grid who got killed. Because yeah. then we could have been like, it's that alien. Because mm-hmm. right now, they get on the sled, go up, which I, I want to mention in a second, and Grid goes to grab them and misses, and that's yeah. the last we saw of Grid. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm glad you marked him for some reason. But we finally get the sleigh ride of friendship. That was so fucking funny. Again, I had never seen most of this movie before, and I'm watching it, and I'm like, this is schlock. This is just if, schlock. If the phrase, that's cringe, was popular in 2004, it would have been that. I would have been in the theater going, that's cringe. Instead, I literally cringed. I was like, yeah. And then they're doing the traumatic run. Oh, from the, the slow mo run where he's like he's wobbling all over the place because it's just rubber. And then it, everything explodes. Everything has to explode. And they're like, okay. And then Predator is like, I'm gonna show you my face. Not the, the Predator should be like, help! I got an alien in me. Get yeah. me, a, get me into a freezing yeah. thing. Get this thing out of mm-hmm. me. Instead, he's like, I'm gonna mark you, which is. In the comics, the Predator does that to the girl after they just fought together mm-hmm. and killed the queen. Yeah. And as he's dying, he gives her the mark. That would make more sense. And this one, he's just like, hey, you did a good job. Here you go, kid. Killing two aliens. Sort good. of both by accident. G- yeah, good job. Here's your alien T. Here's your a- yeah, Here's your little <laughs> alien scar. Uh, but before they can celebrate, the queen. Bursts Bur- out of the ice. Well, apparently, is very good at burrowing. Yeah. Bursts out <laughs> because you have to have the queen yep. showdown at the mm-hmm. end. Because only alien. It's, I'm shocked the other alien movies resisted having the, the queen showdown. Yeah. Um, but this one, they knew. They're like, oh, no, we have to have the queen fight. Uh, I did like the lighting in this scene because mm-hmm. it made the CGI look, look better. Yeah. Fairly okay. You know what I didn't like? The look of the goddamn predator. Holy shit. It looks, they got rid of his fangs in favor of the shark teeth, and he just looks so stupid. His vagina mouth looks weirder. Yeah. They gave him a weird brow to make him sympathetic almost. Like, because they're he's the hero, kind of. It's like, and remember in Freddy vs. Jason, they made Jason bigger and like made him like more. Like a Frankenstein. Like, yeah. yeah. Studio 80i, the next movie. Mm-hmm. You might not have been able to tell because it was so dark. Yeah. But the Predators looked way better in that. And okay. then they came back for The Predator. Yeah. Which isn't a great movie, mm-hmm. but I think we can agree the Predators look fine in yeah. that one, too. So, like, they had the ability to make a good Predator. I forgot there was a Predator movie, like, two years ago. Yeah. That's The Predator, oh, the well, last one. Okay. Yeah. yeah, they didn't do Predators. That was KMB did Predators. Okay. Uh, but Studio ADI, they did both AVPs and then The Predator. Mm-hmm. So they had the ability to make a good Predator. I think that was like a director's note. Like the, I think, I don't think it was their fault. I think they were instructed to have a more human-looking face it's and bigger, so bad. bulky. It was a bad decision. Yeah. I don't know how you can make that work. So I don't really blame the the company who made them. Yeah, uh, because there's evidence that they can make great looking exactly. predators. Uh, but yeah, we get a fight with the alien queen. Mm-hmm. The, the predator gets knocked out pretty quick. Yeah. And then Lady... He's so fucking bulky. If he was, if he had a swimmer's bod, he would have yeah. been all right, you know? But then Lady has to fight him. And she, I do like when she's like running through the whale bones and yeah. stuff. But then she gets acid on her jacket. And she's like, I got to take my jacket off. And In she, Antarctica. What did your hair freeze? Yeah. Like, she doesn't have a hat. And there's nothing on like she would be frozen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know how she's running around doing all no, this shit. No, she'd look like Jack Torrance at the end of The Shining at this yeah. point. Yeah, yeah. Like she would. Yeah, but she, but she could just run. I guess the explosion generated enough. Have heat. you ever like? Because I played football and I played hockey. Have you ever like tried to run in like super cold weather where you're breathing and um, your lungs are overcompensating? Yeah, when I was a wrestler, we would occasionally. You were a wrestler? I was. Wow. I wasn't a very good one. Yeah. Uh, we would occasionally. Um, run outdoors like mm-hmm. on the track or through the park and sometimes be through the winter and it'd be yeah. fucking freezing yeah. so yes it's hard mm-hmm. I don't know how to fight a giant alien that's true <laughs> I don't know. yeah uh, but she's able to like stab the thing in the neck mm-hmm. and uh, the effects for the queen are fine yeah um, and there's like a water tower thing no that's the a tower where they would um, they said in the commentary but they put the whale bones because yeah. whale bones generate oil yeah which is why when you like get a whale skeleton, mm-hmm. you're supposed to like bury it. Yeah. 
or use beetles to get rid of the oil. Okay. Because apparently, I just heard about this on a podcast. There's a museum that didn't do that. So they have this old ass whale Mm -hmm. skeleton that's still leaking oil because they never (laughs) properly like buried it. America should invade it. Yeah, they they never (laughs) properly did what you're supposed to do because they wanted to get this whale thing up. So they have to routinely just clean the oil it drains. So I think that's what it is. They would dip the bones in Mm. it. Uh, Regardless, it's there. Yeah. And a girl's hiding under it. And then the predator does a ninja flip in slow motion. Ridiculous. Especially because he hasn't. I'm going to mention your favorite movie, Batman v Superman. That has a similar issue Mm -hmm. where Batman's suit is kind of bulky in a lot of shots. But then his CGI model looks a little bit thinner and yeah. is doing stuff that mm-hmm. he could definitely not do. Like yeah. when he's flying around mm-hmm. with Doomsday and it's like, I don't think Ben Affleck. So I had the <laughs> same feeling with this. I'm like, that Predator can't do a ninja flip. <laughs> that Predator would couldn't even turn if yeah, he wanted exactly. to. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. He's got fucking Val Kilmer Batman yeah. head. He's like. <laughs> uh, but then he puts a spear through its head, yeah. which I don't know how you kill the queen. I, I guess the, the, the newborn aliens. Mm-hmm knock the top of its head off. Yeah. Did that have its... Where is the Queen Alien's brain is what I want to know. Answer us, Paul W.S. Anderson (laughs) and get Paul Thomas Anderson on the phone, too. Let's just ask Paul Thomas Anderson. He's (laughs) He's like, like, how did you get this number? Do do you want to talk about Boogie Nights? I can tell you a lot about Boogie Nights. (laughs) There will be blood. (laughs) Um... So yeah, they eventually like chain her up, or they use, she has chains yeah. still dragging mm-hmm. from her, because I guess the aliens didn't think to break those, um, and they attach it to the thing and they shove her down. But before that, because we need another trailer shot, yeah, this time spears through, through. the predator yeah. with this mask off, and mm-hmm. then they face off, yeah, and uh, yeah. Oh, they do the uh, the thing one more time uh, as she's falling. She like jumps up and then the the mouth comes uh, up and it almost bites her and then it goes away. It's like you've done that multiple times yeah, in this movie now. It's multiple times. We it's like he's watching it in the, the screening room. He's like, that's good. I think we need another tongue shot and yeah. two more CGI matrix face huggers. And mm. I think this movie will be number one. Yeah. Uh, I did forget to mention the first time that the alien and the predator do meet, it's the weirdest meat cute ever. <laughs> like <laughs> I do like that the little mouth like chops. It's like it's like okay. Um so yeah, the queen goes down to her deep yeah, dark watery the, the, grave. The thing falls and the chains in it and she gets down to the water yeah. and she'll be fine. We've proved that she'll go down. She'll be fine. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, but before that, uh, I mean, before we can find out about that, uh, the predators show up. So predators just dead. Yeah. Did even, he's just dead. He didn't yeah. even have like a blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no. uh, but then the same predator that's just aged up because that's what they did in predator two. They took the predator from predator one and aged him up. Uh, he had a cape on. <clears throat> he had a cape on. Yeah. Which I, don't, I don't mind the cape. Yeah. I don't mind the cape. But he also looks terrible. Yes. And he's there with all the other Predators uh, who, when they're in the ship, you can tell they just have static masks because uh, their mandibles aren't moving at yeah. all. And they have no facial expressions because they, they weren't going to get close ups. <laughs> uh, but it's like, just put masks on them. Why would you not have ma- Why would you show their face? It's if they're cold. Not- they're from a, a jungle planet. <laughs> they fight in heat waves. I, I went to go get this shit today and I fucking put a hat on and a jacket and I'm not an alien. So they give her a spear as yeah. a trophy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think in the comics, the predators like come down and she like joins them. Yeah. They're like, oh, you killed a queen. Cause in the comics, the girl, uh, she puts the queen head on her little shack. Yeah. She like mounts it. I don't know how, but the predators like, oh, you have the marking and you that you can join us. Let's they go. Can give her like a predator yeah. suit and stuff. Uh, but this one, they're like, here's a spear. Bye. Bye. It's and, like and um, there's a still running snowmobile. Which, fuck this movie. They clearly Seriously. they clearly put that in post because yeah. they knew people were gonna bitch. It, uh, but I was like, okay, you handed me a spear. I'd be like, hey, you know what I really would like? A jacket and a ride. Here's you've, the thing. You've you've gotten interdimensional, planetary, yeah. intergalactic <laughs> Beastie Boys. <laughs> Drop me off somewhere. Yes. No one has to know you're cloaked. Though, to be fair, in Predator 2, they give Danny Elfman 
Oh. Danny Elfman <laughs> from Oingo Boingo. Danny Elfman's yeah. there. He's, he's scoring Batman Returns yeah. and he's like, Predators, oh. Danny Glover. Danny Glover. Danny yeah. Glover. <laughs> now I want to see Danny Elfman <laughs> fighting the Predator. If there is footage of Danny Elfman against a blue screen, I'm putting him in Predator. Please. Uh, so Danny Glover, they gave him a little pirate pistol. Yeah. And then they're about to take off with him on the ship. And he's like, oh, oh, shit. So I, gotta I don't get think out they of- care. Yeah. They're like, here you go. You're a cool, dude. Good luck. There's Bye. probably a bunch of motherfuckers up there just hanging out with the fucking bad, bulky, you know, that yeah. everyone's taking that like weight gain shit, yeah. you know? Uh, so then the final shot of the movie is what you expect. They put him in that room that has the laser, but it's also a window, but also, I don't know. It's like the, the, the you know, the thing like that they in Star Trek First Contact, like they have to go under a little yeah. door to look at the thing, and I'm like, what is that room for? I don't know. This is the same type of room. Yes. Uh, so they put the Predator on the altar there, and then they all leave. Which, oh, I guess they don't have masks on to justify them not... But don't ex- you think the ship would be... You would think, Newt. <laughs> you would think. Uh, so the Pred alien chest bursts out yeah. of him, and it screams. And I want to point out, I don't think the Predators have... I think they're still in the room. Yeah. They would hear it. And they just walk back and snap its little dumb fucking predator alien neck. Yeah. Yeah. But then it ends. And I think there's like 10 minutes of credits to yes. pad out the runtime. That was the thing. And I kept scrolling because it's on HBO Max. And I was scrolling through to see if maybe there was an after credit scene. No. That, but no, it's just 10 minutes of. Yeah. It, it probably took a whole team of people to do the slow motion face hugger scenes. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, yeah, it's not a good time. No. Uh, I've no. seen it many times, yeah, I even though I don't really like I it. Wa- this, I, before I pressed start the second time, I was like, do I really want to do this? Like, <laughs> I know I like being on this show and I like know what I'm talking about, <laughs> but sometimes like, is it, was it worth it? No, you know what makes me mad? There's no definitive winner. Yeah. And this is a pro. So I did a panel a few years ago. Okay. Called Alien vs. Predator, the final conflict at too many games. And we were going to finally figure out who was better, the alien or predator. So I had them do like, like slam poetry. I think they did an art contest. Uh, they did improv acting, fidget spinners. I, I was making them do all this trivial sh- shit, but then I fucked up. Cause I was like, Oh, I'll have a wild card. I'll have the pred alien show up. And I think the pred alien won. So, <laughs> so there's still no definitive answer. And I think we need a definitive answer. So over in the other store, okay, I set up Mortal Kombat 10, oh my God. and I'm going to have Alien and Predator play it, and we're going to finally see who is the winner, and I'm real excited. You have a lot of free time on your hands. <laughs> no one's using the other store. That's true. It's been abandoned, so I decided, why not have my Alien versus Predator? Does Mr. Lobo still come to get rent, or has he given up on this entire thing? You know, the continuity's very yeah. loose. The continuity's very... It's like the continuity of Alien and Predator movies. I'd be shocked if there's people who started watching this who don't know what rental reviews is, and they don't know what yeah. <laughs> like, like, I would also be shocked if someone watched Alien vs. Predator, and were like, oh, wow, this is... I don't know what this these is characters are. I think are. I'm going to go watch these other... Alien and Predator. I've never heard of them before, yeah. but people like this movie. There are people really. Oh, this is the most financially successful Alien or Predator movie. I don't know if it's. I doubt it's been beaten by the newer ones. Uh, but I know Requiem failed miserably. Yeah, and I think that one was even cheaper to make. And Requiem they, was the movie that um because I was a projectionist and mm. ran theaters, and the movie was so dark that I kept going up to the projection booth and I was terrified that I broke something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they tried a second I'm one. I'm an they, asshole. I'm the kind of person when I go see a movie, like, I like to be able to see it. Yeah. You know? I think the second one, they knew they weren't. I think this, they're, they got lucky with this yeah. one. The reviews were shit, mm-hmm. but it made a shit ton of money. Because people, PG-13. People, well, and also people saw it for the novelty yeah. sake. Yeah. Because people were like, oh, Alien vs. Predator. I'll check that out. They should have been smart enough not to do the second one. They should have known, like, I don't think this is going to work twice, but we'll try it. I hate this movie. I really hate this movie. Uh, It's not the worst Alien movie. No, it's not the worst Alien movie. Prometheus is a much bigger letdown. Covenant's worse than Prometheus. Covenant's the worst Alien movie. It is... God. Although I would love more of just Mas- Michael Fassbender playing with himself, like, teaching himself yeah. how to play the flute. Covenant made me miss parts of Prometheus, yeah. a film that I despise. Yes. Yep. So that's how bad it is. But anyway, let's uh, cut over to the other store and let's see 
this final confrontation between the alien and predator. Let's get a definitive winner. Whoever wins, we lose. about tapes we're talk talking talk talking talking about tapes